The holy month of Ramadan is special and blessed because the Holy Qur'an, God's final book to mankind, was revealed to Prophet Muhammad in the special month. The holy month of Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, lasting 29 or 30 days. To further clarify, the Islamic calendar is based on a lunar year of 12 full lunar cycles for a duration of 354 or 355 days. The moon circles the earth 12 times in a full lunar year. The beginning of each month is marked by the observance of a new moon. When a new moon is sighted, Ramadan begins, and with the next dawn, fasting would commence. If a new moon is not sighted at the time, then Muslims would begin their fast the following day. Islam is built upon five pillars. The concept of fasting during the month of Ramadan is the fourth pillar of Islam. Muslims fast by abstaining from eating, drinking, chewing gum, smoking, and partaking in any sexual activity from dawn to sunset. Additionally, fasting in Islam does not consist solely of refraining from food and drink, but also abstaining from every kind of evil, selfish desire, and wrongdoing. The purpose of fasting is not merely for the body, but also for the spirit. Fasting is for the soul, mind, and body. Muslims are commanded to refrain against gossiping, backbiting, slandering, lying, cheating, looking at prohibited forms of entertainment, nursing a grudge, using sinful speech, and or any behavior of wrongdoing. Muslims must adhere to the morals of Islam strictly to their fast, as failure to do so can violate tradition. Fasting is obligatory for every sane and healthy Muslim who is not ill or traveling long distances at the time, and for every male or female, unless a female is experiencing her menstruation cycle or is experiencing the phenomenon of post-childbirth bleeding. Most religions practice some sort of fasting that generally requires one to go without food or drink for a certain period of time. According to the Bible, for example, Jesus fasted for 40 days. But why do Muslims fast? The primary reason for this tradition is attributed to God the Almighty's command as stated in his final revelation, the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran was sent in service to the last and final nation, our nation whereas the Bible, Torah, and all previous scriptures were sent to previous nations. God states in the Qur'an, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you, that they may become righteous and hopefully learn self-restraint. Qur'an 2, 183 Fasting is an act of worship beloved by God. The holy month of Ramadan and the Creator's prescribed fasting is a gift and mercy to Muslims. God does not administer orders and directives to his followers unless they are wise and beneficial in content. But how is Ramadan and fasting a gift and mercy to those who fast sincerely? A sin is defined as an act of disobedience in which a person goes against the commandments of God. God deliberately placed human beings on earth knowing that they will sin. By nature of human beings, mankind is fallible and bound to sin due to outside evil influences. Whether these influences take the form of friends, family, the media, or a representative of Satan's temptation, those whispers that can tempt one from the straight path, leading them to destruction. God is willing to accept anyone's repentance. Allah, in fact, loves people who repent repeatedly. Mankind is liable to sin as a result of ignorance, forgetfulness, or as a direct result of Satan's intervention. Mankind needs to be educated to abstain from negative behaviors that go against commandments of God. God the Almighty states that the acts of fasting and abstaining from which is prohibited will increase one's taqwa. Taqwa is translated to mean God-fearing piety, righteousness, mindfulness, and consciousness of God or the awareness that God is watching at all times. The concept of taqwa is expressed in the Qur'an more than 200 times. The word taqwa comes from the root word to guard. When one harbors taqwa or God consciousness in their heart, one loves to do good and avoid evil for the sake of God, never seeing the act as a problem or a burden. But how does one attain taqwa by fasting? The act of fasting is a shield for mankind. Fasting protects a person from sin and lustful desires. The purpose of fasting is not simply to train oneself to withstand hunger, thirst, and exhaustion. Rather, fasting disciplines the soul and the ego to surrender beloved material goods, wealth, fame, etc. for the sake of God. 
Fasting Muslims seek to overpower and suppress sin desires in themselves, putting aside all evils and bad behaviors to express their dedication and love to God, using the practice as a way to draw closer to Him so that God becomes a reality in their lives, resulting in a higher spiritual state. Fasting in Ramadan offers one the opportunity to develop spiritually and gain strength and control over one's soul and one's ego. Those very things that would dominate one's life when left unchecked and unmonitored. The act of a sincere and proper fasting for a full month every year is very beneficial for individuals and society as a whole as it develops piety and self-restraint. Once one is conscious that God is watching, once instances of sin and disobedience will dramatically decrease. Fasting recharges one's spiritual and physical state. Fasting cleanses the spiritual heart and instills virtuous qualities in humans, such as generosity and patience. Fasting also cleanses the soul, the mind, and the body, as temporarily giving up food, water, and disobedient acts is a natural way of removing toxins from the soul, mind, and body. When fasting, one controls the urge to eat and drink, empowering one to exercise self-control as it develops patience, inner strength, and willpower in a person. Additionally, fasting develops good qualities of endurance and self-restraint, helping one control his or her anger, tongue, and actions. Fasting empowers one to resist unlawful desires and wicked habits, which would help guard one against evil. Fasting in the month of Ramadan exercises one's ability of self-restraint so that one can apply it to their everyday life, thus bringing about self-improvement and self-development. Fasting suppresses worldly desires and strengthens one's spirituality. Muslims recite the Quran frequently in this blessed month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a month when Muslims try to establish or re-establish a relationship with their Creator and the Quran so that one may be guided in his way. Ramadan is a month of deep inner reflection. Muslims believe they earn extra spiritual rewards in this month for good deeds which can lead them to paradise in the hereafter, deterring them to avoid the punishment of the hellfire. During Ramadan, Muslims engage in consistent spiritual reflection and prayer with the aims of drawing closer to God and becoming a better person. During this blessed month, additional voluntary prayers are offered in every mosque well into the night, with many places of worship overflowing with worshippers. Hearts are directed away from worldly material goods and are drawn closer to the Almighty, His religion, and His final revelation, the Holy Quran. Due to the blessings and rewards associated with this holy month, Muslims are encouraged to give and help others to their best of ability. The primary reason for fasting is to draw closer to Allah through the purification of oneself by abstaining from sins and increasing acts of good. However, the practice offers many additional benefits. Amongst the benefits of fasting is that it teaches man the principle of sincere love to God as he struggles to fast solely for the pleasure of God. Fasting is supposed to dissolve any bad habits one may have developed throughout the year. Fasting is supposed to free a person from the slavery of sinful desires as they surrender those practices for an entire month. Additionally, fasting develops new and better habits as Muslims complete more acts of good in this month. Fasting is a way of experiencing hunger, thirst, and exhaustion, thus developing sympathy for the less fortunate and hopefully fostering a desire to help them. Many take blessings like food and water for granted. When one is fasting, he or she lives the experience of a needy individual. This should increase the act of helping and giving to others, especially those less fortunate. As fasting helps one to sympathize with the poor, so one may know and experience their hardship. During the fast, one learns to give and not simply to take. Fasting inspires one to be more thankful, to appreciate all of God's gifts and provisions. Fasting is a way to humble one before God and His creation, as the sensations of hunger and thirst inspire the realization that they are in desperate need of God and His provisions, thus decreasing one's false pride and arrogance. Fasting teaches patience in that one feels the pain of deprivation, but he or she endures impatiently. Fasting teaches moderation and increases one's willpower, as one feels hunger but disciplines him or herself not to eat, so that they can benefit from the increased willpower and discipline at the completion of the month. This month is supposed to be a training period for the rest of the year, so that one can resist temptations. Aside from its many spiritual benefits, fasting offers many physical benefits as well. 
fasting speeds one's metabolism, lowers cholesterol levels, promotes weight loss, endures longevity, improves one's brain function, salvage one's skin from acne and dryness, improves the immune system, and purifies the body by giving your system a break from the continuous task of digesting food. Whereas fasting in the month of Ramadan may appear exhausting and difficult, this ritual is actually an enjoyable time for Muslims. It is a time of family and friends getting together to worship the one God and to eat together after sunset. Ramadan has a different atmosphere that distinguishes this time from other months of the year. Often, local families and individuals sponsor breaking fast and dinners at local mosques, which are open to the community. Mosques are often packed with worshippers at night, and special evening prayers are conducted in mosques during Ramadan. At the completion of the month, Muslims celebrate one of the two Islamic festivals, Eid al-Fitr, which translates to the festival of the breaking of the fast. It is a festival of celebration. It is a time of joy, a social gathering of family and friends, a time of gift giving, wearing new clothes and expressing thanks and gratitude to the Creator for self-control, the will, the strengths and the endurance and benefits that they have practiced and achieved throughout the course of this holy month. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.